In today's video, we're going to explore some incredible cracks in the Earth, from massive fault lines stretching for miles to immense canyons formed by powerful earthquakes. These colossal fissures are a testament to the Earth's immense power. Tater Hills in Arizona Back in 2017, the Arizona Geological Survey uncovered a gigantic crack in the Earth that extended nearly two miles. This remarkable discovery marked it as the longest fissure in the region, no small achievement. To understand it better, scientists employed drones to capture a safe visual of this two-mile-long crack, providing valuable insights into its formation. These kinds of fissures began appearing in the Arizona desert in the early 20th century due to the excessive extraction of groundwater, causing the ground to sink and fissures to emerge. In Tater Hills, these fissures were first observed in 1977, and today there are approximately 11 miles of them in the area. However, these cracks don't just appear overnight. This particular fissure is believed to have started forming in either 2013 or 2014, with a significant event triggering its emergence a few years later. These fascinating cracks are tucked away in the rugged landscapes of California's eastern Sierra, near the shimmering Mono Lake. They form an intriguing labyrinth of cracks and fractures that ignite the imagination. The Black Point fissures tell stories of ancient volcanic and tectonic forces that have shaped the Earth's canvas and this geologically active part of the world. What makes these cracks particularly captivating is their origin. Unlike other cracks or fissures, these were not created due to a lack of water. Instead, their story is much hotter, literally. The Black Point fissures have volcanic origins. They trace back to an underwater eruption that occurred around 13,000 years ago when Mono Lake's water levels were significantly higher. During this eruption, materials were ejected and spread out beneath the lake's water. Additionally, chemical reactions with the hot water, known as palagonatization, cemented much of the ejected debris together, forming a solid surface. Pressure from below continued to build up, causing the solid surface to swell and eventually crack. These are known as expansion cracks. Their fissures have nearly vertical sides and can be more than 50 feet deep and about 10 feet wide, although they are typically narrower. Nevertheless, many of these cracks are wide enough for a person to walk in although reaching the bottom of some may require technical equipment. Rofeltsgja This stunning feature, known as Rofeltsgja, is essentially a narrow ravine or fissure that cuts into the earth. It's surrounded by steep cliffs on either side, making it one of Iceland's most breathtaking and unique landscapes. The name Rofeltsgja has its roots in Icelandic sagas and folklore. According to the tale, a young and reckless local named Rofeltsgja met a tragic fate within the depths of this gorge. The saga adds an extra layer of mystique to this place, attracting those who appreciate both the wonders of nature and the stories it can inspire. But how did Rofeltsja come to be? It's located on the Schnuffel Peninsula, which is part of Iceland's complex tectonic settings. Iceland sits atop the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, where the North American Plate and the Eurasian Plate are pulling apart. These tectonic forces exert pressure on the Earth's crust, leading to the creation of faults, fractures, and fissures. Iceland is known for its volcanic activity because of its location on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Volcanic processes, including the movement of magma beneath the Earth's surface, can contribute to the formation of fissures like Rofeltsja. However, despite being a giant crack in the Earth, it holds a certain magical quality. When you enter the fissure, you're greeted by towering walls covered in vibrant green moss. Water trickles down the rock face, adding to the enchanting ambience. The passage can be quite narrow in places, requiring agility to navigate. In some parts, sunlight filters through gaps in the cliffs, creating a play of light and shadow that adds to the magical atmosphere of this remarkable place. Crack in the Ground This geological wonder can be found in central Oregon, United States. It's a captivating example of a fissure vent, which is a long and narrow crack that has formed in the Earth's crust. This unique formation allows visitors to explore the depths of a natural fissure and witness the incredible forces that have shaped the region's landscape. Situated within the high desert terrain near Christmas Valley, this crack in the ground stretches for about two miles in length and descends to a depth of approximately 70 feet. Its origins can be traced back to a combination of volcanic activity and tectonic forces that are believed by some to have been at work in the area for millions of years. It's likely formed as magma rose beneath the surface during volcanic events, causing fractures to develop in the Earth's crust. Subsequent erosion processes likely exposed and deepened the fissure over time. 
Walking through the crack in the ground is like entering a natural chasm surrounded by towering walls that reveal the layers of rock making up the Earth's crust. This spectacle offers a tangible glimpse into the region's geological history, inviting visitors to imagine the tumultuous forces that once shaped this remarkable area. Le Puy d'Enfer Le Puy d'Enfer, which translates to the Pit of Hell, is a fascinating crevice situated in France. Nestled within the picturesque landscapes of the Aveyron region, this natural wonder beckons adventurers with its dramatic name and remarkable features. It serves as a prime example of a collapsed sea cave where ocean waves have carved their way through the cliffs along the French seaside. The tides and winds spurred the formation of this fault, which extends approximately 30 feet deep and 100 feet long through erosion. While it appears tranquil, this place is also steeped in sinister legends and tales of dark secrets. One common legend tells of a shepherd who ventured into the pit in search of a lost sheep. As he descended, he discovered a hidden underground paradise adorned with sparkling crystals, wondrous formations, and captivating beauty. This secret would become his haven, a place of solace and marvel. However, given the pit's name, there are also legends associated with much darker forces. According to these tales, the pit is believed to be an entrance to the underworld. There is one story, though, that is sad but true. In 1949, the body of Robert Taylor, a wealthy Parisian, was discovered floating within the crack along with a waterlogged trunk by a group of children. The police used the trunk to identify his battered remains. Their investigation revealed that André Ferrer, his housekeeper, was the murderer, driven by a desire to seize his fortune. Ferrer was condemned to death but later pardoned by the president. This murder story is said to have inspired Alfred Hitchcock's film Vertigo. Alfagia Rift Valley, Iceland Alfagia Rift Valley, like the one found in a national park in Iceland, is a visual representation of the Earth's movements. Here, the North American plate and the Eurasian plate are pulling away from each other, creating a gap in the Earth's crust. This process is called continental rifting and is crucial in the development of new oceanic crust. This rift valley in Iceland measures about 23 to 33 feet wide with variations along its length due to complex geological processes. It's attributed to the tectonic activity associated with the broader Mid-Atlantic Ridge, an underwater mountain range marking the boundary between the North American Plate and the Eurasian Plate. The diverging plates have caused the land to gradually sink between them, forming the Rift Valley. What's unique about this place is its accessibility. Unlike many other Rift Valleys hidden underwater, this one is partially above sea level, allowing visitors to witness the geological process in action. The Leif the Lucky Bridge spans the Rift Valley, built in 2002 and named after Icelandic explorer Leif Erikson, who ventured from Europe to explore North America 500 years before Columbus. Valley dei Mulini Valley dei Mulini, or the Valley of the Mills, is a unique crack in the earth with a positive twist. This historical and picturesque site is located in Sorrento, Italy, within the stunning Amalfi Coast region. It bears remnants of an industrial complex that once thrived around milling operations, surrounded by lush natural beauty. The history of Valle dei Mulini dates back to the Middle Ages when it became a bustling hub of economic activity. Water mills were constructed along the river that flows through the valley, using water's power to grind wheat and grains. This milling activity sustained the local economy and community for centuries. As time passed and technology evolved, traditional water mills lost their significance as flour milling shifted to nearby pasta mills. The industrial area gradually became obsolete, leading to its closure and abandonment in the 1940s. Since then, nature has slowly reclaimed the brick buildings, resulting in a scene that resembles a glimpse of a post-human world. Today, Valle dei Molini is a captivating blend of historical ruins and scenic beauty. The old mill's crumbling walls and overgrown facades tell the story of a bygone era. Visitors can explore the site, wandering amidst the ruins, and imagine the once bustling mills that occupied this valley. It showcases the resilience of nature as it reclaims human-made structures. The contrast of decaying buildings against the backdrop of lush greenery and cascading vines creates a hauntingly beautiful scene that evokes a sense of nostalgia and timelessness. Kjarak Bolton Kjarak Bolton is one of the most iconic cracks in the world located in Norway. This stunning natural phenomenon and popular hiking destination is known for its breathtaking scenery and thrilling experience. 
Kiara Bolton is an enormous boulder wedged between two cliff faces within the Kirag range, specifically in the Kirag Bolton area. The name Kirag Bolton is derived from Kirag, the name of the mountain, and Bolton, which means bolt or rock. This massive boulder weighs several hundred tons and is precariously perched in a crevice between two sheer cliff walls, about 3,200 feet above the fjord below, creating an awe-inspiring sight. But how did this incredible formation happen? The region of Rogaland is in a tectonically active zone, allowing the river to carve into the surrounding sandstone mountains during multiple glaciations. Norway experienced several glaciations, and after each one the meltwater would reshape the valley. After the last glacial period, global warming caused a rise in sea levels, flooding the fjords. The boulder was deposited during the last glaciation, believed to be around 50,000 BC. As the Norwegian glacier melted, there was a rebound in rock formations due to the removal of ice. In the case of Kjærabolten, the rebound happened faster than the rising sea level, wedging the rock into its current position. The journey to Kjærabolten involves traversing rugged terrain, ascending steep inclines and crossing narrow trails. However, the reward is exceptional. Hikers are treated to panoramic views of surrounding mountains and fjords. The highlight of the hike is standing on the boulder itself, looking down at the dizzying height. It's a thrilling experience, and one can't help but wonder if the boulder will hold their weight. The only way to find out is to step out onto it. The Skokjan Caves The Skokjan Caves are a mesmerizing underground wonder located in Slovenia, a country renowned for its stunning landscapes. These caves are a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the most remarkable karst formations globally offering a captivating journey into the Earth's natural treasures. Nestled in the picturesque karst region of southwestern Slovenia, the Skjokjan Caves consist of a labyrinth of underground passages, immense chambers, and awe-inspiring rock formations. The Rika River flowing through the caves has carved this subterranean fissure and created a series of stunning features. One of the highlights is the Great Chamber, a massive cavern with towering walls. The underground path of the river also features captivating waterfalls and pools, earning the cave its name, which aptly describes the gentle echoing sounds of the subterranean waters. Due to the substantial water flow through the canyon, the cave hosts various geological features such as limestone pools, travertine terraces, and giant stalagmite formations. The cave's unique spaciousness is home to numerous species of bats, unique bioorganisms, and even fish that have never seen the light of day. A bridge spans the chasm, allowing visitors to experience this colossal geological divide. One of the most astonishing aspects of these caves is the Martel's Chamber, named after French speleologist Edouard Alfred Martel. This colossal chamber is one of the largest underground canyon systems globally, with walls reaching heights of over 330 feet. These caves are ecologically essential, providing refuge for various species adapted to the underground environment. The complex ecosystem, including unique cave-dwelling creatures, has earned the Skokjan Caves a place among UNESCO's designated natural sites. Archaeological research has found evidence of human habitation in the caves dating back 10,000 years, suggesting they were used by ancient people for shelter. Silfra Rift Silfra is an underwater crack located in Thingvalia National Park in Iceland. This fissure was created by the separation of the North American and Eurasian tectonic plates offering a unique diving and snorkeling experience. Silfra is celebrated as one of the world's top dive sites, allowing visitors to swim between two continents and witness the incredible clarity of glacial meltwater. The formation of Silfra is attributed to the ongoing tectonic activity that characterizes Iceland's landscape. The North American plate and the Eurasian plate are gradually pulling apart, creating a series of fissures and rifts, including Silfra. Glacial meltwater from Langjökull, Iceland's second-largest glacier, percolates through the porous volcanic rock, filling the fissure with pristine water. This water's exceptional clarity results from the extensive filtration process it undergoes, removing impurities and sediment. Silfra's water is cold and crystal clear, offering visibility that can surpass 300 feet. Divers and snorkelers entering Silfra are treated to an underwater world where every detail no matter how minute, is magnificently visible. Silfra's underwater topography is captivating, divided into several sections with poetic names like the Silver Cathedral and Silver Lagoon. These sections vary in depth and width, 
creating a dynamic diving experience from narrow canyons to more open spaces. The ever-changing colours of the surrounding rock, coupled with the water's clarity, make every moment spent in Silphra a sensory delight. Despite its geological significance, Silphra is relatively young in terms of geological formations. It formed as a direct result of the tectonic activity that characterises Iceland, a land still very much in the process of formation. This ongoing geological process is believed by some to have been shaping Iceland's landscape for millions of years. The Kumbu Icefall The Kumbu Icefall is a captivating yet perilous feature in the Everest region high in the Himalayas. This sprawling expanse of ice and crevices serves as a daunting gateway to the world's tallest peak, Mount Everest. Climbers who traverse this labyrinth grapple with challenges posed by massive crevices and awe-inspiring formations that highlight the dynamic nature of this landscape. The Kumbu Icefall is a complex maze of towering ice walls and chasms and is renowned as one of the most treacherous sections of the climb. The crevices that scar the Kumbu Icefall are created by the interactions between glacier movement and the uneven terrain it flows over. As the glacier flows from the west down through the icefall, it encounters steep slopes, rocky outcrops, and uneven terrain. These challenges create tension within the glacier, resulting in the formation of cracks, fractures, and crevices that snake through the ice, varying in size and depth. Some crevices span tens of meters wide and plunge to depths exceeding 20 meters. Climbers navigating this icy terrain must traverse crevices, some of which are covered by precarious snow bridges. These snow bridges, though deceptively solid-looking, can collapse under the weight of climbers, sending them plummeting into the deep chasms. Climbers often use aluminium ladders to bridge some of the wider crevices, an activity referred to as ladder crossings. Negotiating these ladder crossings requires not only physical agility but also mental fortitude as climbers gingerly step from one unstable platform to another, suspended above the abyss. The Kumbu Icefall is in a constant state of flux due to the glacier's relentless movement. The crevices shift and widen, altering the topography of the icefall from year to year. As a result, ascending through this icy labyrinth is not just a matter of skill and strength, but also about adaptability and strategy. Kamoa Moa Kamoa Moa is a volcanic fissure that captivated observers during the eruption of Kiloia volcano on the big island of Hawaii in 2011. The breathtaking eruption displayed both the beauty and destructive power of nature. The eruption began as a subtle prelude, with increased seismic activity and uplift at Kilauea's summit and Pu'u O, a volcanic cone on the volcano's flank. The Halema Uma'u crater's lava lake also began to rise, hinting at what was to come. On March 5, 2011, the Earth's rumblings escalated dramatically, marked by a surge of seismic tremors and elevated earthquake activity. These signs signaled the onset of a volcanic eruption. Almost simultaneously, Pu Ol rapidly deflated, further underscoring the impending eruption. Later that evening, the real show began as molten rock surged forth from the Earth's depths, giving birth to the Kamoa Moa fissures. The eruption site, located approximately 1.2 miles south of Pu Ol, became a scene of awe-inspiring wonder. Lava, a molten force of nature, surged from these fissures, advancing and receding like a cosmic dance. The performance reached a breathtaking climax on March 8th when the western end of the western fissure took center stage, birthing a fast-moving channelized R flow that consumed everything in its path. Trees bowed like matchsticks before the advancing inferno, creating a picture of both destruction and renewal. Witnessing lava erupt from a volcanic fissure was an awe-inspiring sight, showcasing the raw power and beauty of geological processes. The East African Rift The East African Rift is a geological wonder that stretches over 1,800 miles from the Gulf of Aden in the north to Zimbabwe in the south. It is a tectonic plate boundary that is slowly splitting the African continent into two unequal parts, the Somali Plate and the Nubian Plate. This rift provides scientists with a unique opportunity to observe different stages of rifting along its length. The East African Rift is the result of tectonic movements between the African Plate and the Somali Plate. The process begins with tension within the Earth's crust, resulting in fractures and fissures. Over time, these fissures can become pathways for water, magma and other materials. The Rift Valley floor is covered with volcanic rocks, indicating that the lithosphere has thinned almost to the point of complete breakup. 
As the rifting continues, a new ocean will eventually begin forming as magma solidifies in the space created by the broken plates. Supposedly over millions of years, seafloor spreading will progress along the entire length of the rift and the African continent will become smaller. This geological process will lead to the formation of a large island in the Indian Ocean composed of parts of Ethiopia and Somalia, including the Horn of Africa. Ryotagia Tucked away near Lake Mivatan in Iceland, Ryotagia is a geological gem known as the Rocky Crevice. This ancient lava cave houses a captivating natural hot spring with inviting warm azure waters that starkly contrast the surrounding rugged cave walls. As a result, it has become a popular bathing spot for visitors. The source of Grotjagir's warmth lies in the geothermal activity beneath Iceland's surface. This activity is a direct consequence of the dynamic tectonic movements occurring along the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, a colossal underwater mountain range marking the boundary between the North American Plate and the Eurasian Plate. Grotjagir's formation is intricately connected to these tectonic processes. As the Earth's crust stretches and separates, rift fractures and fissures emerge. Over time, these fissures can serve as conduits for various substances, including water and magma. In Grotjegi's case, its initial crack resulted from these geological forces. Water from precipitation and snow melt seeps into the ground, encountering the Earth's geothermal heat. This interaction transforms the water into steam, generating pressure. As the cavity formed by the crack continues to expand, it shapes a natural chamber or cave-like structure. In the case of Grotjagir, this underground chamber, born from the widening crack, became a sanctuary for warm geothermal waters. For generations, locals have sought solace in Grotjagir's enchanting hot spring, particularly during Iceland's harsh winters. The cave's harmonious blend of geological wonder and soothing warmth makes it a picturesque and inviting destination for all who wish to immerse themselves in its natural splendor. From volcanic origins to tectonic movements, these cracks tell stories of our world's dynamic history. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let us know by clicking the like button, do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so you can catch up our next video.